Good morning and warmest greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. You're watching We Are The Church. This is a daily ministry of encouragement brought to you by your friends at the First United Methodist Church of Orange in Orange, California. Friends, the 51st Psalm is a psalm of prayer. Uh, it's a psalm of confession and a prayer for con cleansing and pardon before God. Uh, these words are often read at the beginning of, of Lent in the, in the springtime uh, as a way of starting out a season of penitence. I'm going to be reading to you from Psalm 51, verses 6 through 17. The psalmist says, You, Lord, desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, and let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, blot out all my transgressions, and create in me a clean heart, O God. Put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise for you have no delight in sacrifice. And if I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. These are deep and <clears throat> consequential uh, thoughts and emotions that the psalmist is talking about with uh, God about deep, deep feelings of uh, inner worth and, um, and knowledge of, of our shortcomings and our failings. Uh, you know, I want to say I end every one of these videos when I'm talking to you, uh, reminding you to tell somebody that you love them. And that's because I'm hoping that you will become a a voice of love in, the, in this world that um, that so often is is caught up in um, self doubt, insecurities, uncertainties. You know the old adage, uh, and the number can vary, but it takes a hundred attaboys to make up for one. Oh darn it! Um, and there's a lot of truth in that because of our own inward insecurities and our uncertainties, uh, that if we don't do our work with God, and if we're not confident in God's saving presence, then one critical word from somebody in our world can stick with us for days on end. Two critical words can cause us to think of nothing else. It can take, I don't know what the number is for you, I've heard 10, 100, 1,000 attaboys to make up for that. So what I'm saying when I say tell somebody you love them is you be one of those voices in somebody's life to tell, to, that tells them God finds you to be a very valuable, wonderful person, a person of sacred worth. God loves you, and, and on that basis, because God loves me too, I love you. Uh, that's a powerful thing. People can't ever get tired of hearing that. Now, sometimes uh, the things that get in the way of hearing that are things that we're carrying around with us that we don't even know. When John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, was first getting started at Oxford, he formed something called the Holiness Club. And one of the things the Holiness Club sought to do was to practice everything within their control to be more righteous and holy before God. And one of the things that they developed, and I've handed this out in the church in the past, this was an examination of conscience, a list of 22 questions that they were to ask themselves to spend private time and devotion uh, every day before God and in their private time and devotions to structure that in, so that at least part of that time was spent examining their day. At the end of the day, 
saying, uh, for instance, am I consciously or unconsciously creating the impression that I am better than I really am? In other words, am I a hypocrite? Or did the Bible live in me today? Or when did I last talk to somebody about my faith or looking down the list? Do I thank God that I am not as other people, especially as the Pharisees who described, de, uh, despised the publican? Or do I grumble and complain constantly? These are powerful words of self-examination. And they're meant to be used not in the public, but in your private devotions, so that you and God, just you and God, can sit down like the psalmist and say, now create in me a clean heart, and then I will be able to teach others about your love, and they will give thanks to you as well. All of the good works piled up in the world, all of the sacrifices in the world cannot make up for the joy that comes with having a clean heart before God. There is a digital copy of this in today's, uh, a link to the digital copy in today's video. And if you don't have your copy from a, a previous time in worship, I urge you, I encourage you to download this today and to take a week and just every day set aside time to read down the list and spend your time in self-examination with God. Um, just as the psalmist does in Psalm 51. And you know what? At the end of that private devotion time with God, you'll find that it has been your way of telling God, I love you too. Why don't we pray? Dear Lord, so often we surround ourselves with the trappings of outer religion, and we tell others about all of our good deeds, hoping that in some way it will balance the scales in our favor. But we know that we are we are uh, not righteous in any way except for the righteousness of Christ imparted and imputed to us. And so we ask that you help us take shelter in the confidence that our forgiveness and our justification is in Jesus Christ. And then, O oh Lord, we ask that you help us to, in real and practical ways, make an examination of our hearts and of ourselves so that we might be more holy that we might enjoy your presence more completely, and that we might be that word of encouragement to the world in which we live. We pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, we, uh, we ask you to uh, wash your hands in order to cleanse the body, and to spend time in the Psalms in order to cleanse the mind, and in your prayers, remember to tell God that you love him. And remember to tell someone when you emerge from your prayers, somebody today, that you love them. I'm telling you, uh, they need to hear it a hundred times because somebody has already told them today that they have messed up. So tell somebody that you love them. And I will not see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a guest, uh, Sylvia Cusa, a member of our staff and the president of the United Methodist Women will be bringing the word and then I'll see you on Saturday. God bless.